Hello, my name's Lucas Haddock, and I'm here in the Kevin Quarry with the 145XR that I saw launched last week. I've come here to have a go on it. But first of all, I'm going to talk to Oliver Sands, the excavator product specialist, about this new machine. So I'm now here with Oliver, and he's going to tell me about this new machine, especially the cab and how big it is for a reduced tail swing machine. Yeah, fantastic to have you here this morning, Lucas. Uh, absolutely. So the 145XR, um, of course, is a reduced tail swing product uh, operating in the 14 to 16 tonne sector. And usually with these products, you'll find that the cabs are shrunk in order to package everything together. But it was a big part of our development process that we wanted to make sure that there was no compromise for operators when sitting in this cab, as we know that they're in it all day, every day. So it needs to be a comfortable place for them to sit in. So this is a full-size X-Series cab, the exact same that you'd find on, for example, even our 370X, our larger excavator in the range. And because of that, it features all the fantastic parts that we launched with that excavator. So, of course, the main part being the UX display, which is brand new on the 370X early this year. It's a full HD, 10-inch touchscreen display um, and it features a lot of customization in terms of joysticks, hydraulic controls uh, and, and saving a lot of attachments features. Um, another fantastic benefit of that is that we've managed to integrate the cameras into the display. So we, this machine is now fitted as standard with a twin camera setup, one on the right hand side and one on the rear. Those will now, as I say, be fully integrated into the display in a nice HD uh, but, and very large uh, display. And we'll also offer a 360 degree camera option which adds a third uh, camera on the left hand side and a fourth on the front of the cab, which will then give you a, a really fantastic bird's eye view display. So, for machines like this, where you're working in compact areas, like such as building sites, you've got fantastic visibility all around, so much safer for people operating on the machine, and you're not gonna cause any inadvertent damage to the, the machine either. That sounds brilliant, Oliver. Would we like to move around and have a look at the Absolutely. front of the machine? So talking about visibility, we can see from the, the sheer size of the cab on this, machine that you've got a lot of visibility from the front how is that important for you guys here at jcb yeah absolutely a similar thing to what i've said about the cameras obviously these machines are designed to be operating in tight areas uh, building sites road works places like that where you've got oncoming traffic potentially uh, you've got operators moving all around you at all times other machines operating so obviously visibility was a massive part of the project when we first started and you can see obviously out the front because you've got such big windows on the machine but also out that right hand side there's been a lot of development to make sure that the bodywork slopes in a way that means you have even without using the cameras a great view over the right hand side as well that's brilliant we also have that access and egress points on the side here but we have this boom that comes in three different ways as i heard last week yeah so absolutely. could you tell me about a few of those different variants yeah absolutely so um obviously this machine that we've got here today is a mono boom uh, in the new year the machine will also be launching with a, a tab boom tri triple articulated boom um, and then dipper options as you say we've got three so they are a 2.5 a 2.7 and a three meter uh, dipper option this machine is also fitted with high and low flow pipe work um, we have a lot of variant uh, variants in hydraulic options on this machine that will be available uh, for example, a hammer line, a uh, hammer auxiliary, we can put a merge circuit on it. As I say, this machine's fitted with low flow, and you can also get things like case drain and our advanced tool select, which enables you to um, change the pressure and flow of the uh, hydraulic system from within the cab. That sounds brilliant. I'm guessing we also get 360 tilt rotation on this machine or other variants? Yeah, absolutely. So again, we're absolutely aware that customers are going to be fitting tilt rotators to this machine. Um, you know. They're, as I say, they're operating in tight spaces, so being able to get at different angles from, from the same position is going to be a massive benefit. So we've made sure that during the development process on this machine, we spent the time to fit tilt rotators, ensure that they operate as intended. And as I say, we've got the um, hydraulic um, variants and the hydraulic options to be able to support those, those types of solutions. That sounds brilliant. It would also be a good accessory to have with like a 3D machine control, which we're going to talk about in a minute. Yeah, anyway, absolutely. let's move round to the engine. So here we have it, the new engine inside this 145XR. I've recently saw that you built your millionth engine here at JCB, which is quite impressive. But 
what are the fuel savings on this engine? Because I heard a lot about it last week. Yeah, so absolutely. So this uses the same engine that we use in some of our existing range, the 140 and the 150X, which is the JCB 448 uh, engine running at 81 kilowatts. Um, and it also has the same drivetrain components on the, on, in terms of the hydraulic system. What we've tried to do for this machine is m bring that fuel saving down even more to make it even better. And to do that, we've reduced the running uh, speed of the engine. So on the outgoing model, the JZ140, we were operating at 2050 RPM, brought that all the way down to 1700. What that means is obviously a fantastic fuel consumption reduction. Uh, in fact, we're seeing up to 10% in terms of that. So that means about a 2000 pound a year saving uh, when you operate on an average duty cycle of about 1300 hours a year. That, that sounds brilliant. I mean, a £2,000 saving is really a lot of money when it comes to a machine like this. But Absolutely. let's move around and look at the reduced tail swing. So obviously here we have it, it's a JCB machine, but we also have a very reduced tail swing. I'm not used to seeing uh, this much track on the back of a machine on an excavator. Could you tell me about how this would benefit anyone having a reduced tail swing machine? What different applications would it be used for really? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, to start with, I suppose the facts. So the um, tail swing on this machine is about 27% uh, shorter than our 140X, the conventional tail swing model. So that's, uh, that means in total it's about just over one and a half meters of tail swing. Um, obviously massive reduction when compared to the conventional model. As you say, the reason that's important is mostly due to applications. We're seeing a massive increase in the demand for houses, obviously with the new government, they're pushing this demand on infrastructure. So we're gonna see even more growth in this area because these products are perfect for house building in, and infrastructure areas. As I say, areas that have re reduced amount of space and a lot of people or objects or machines working around it. Sounds brilliant. I also, uh, we're getting onto the Leica Geosystems machine control here. It's factory fitted now with you guys at JCB, but how would that really benefit a machine like this in a house building sector? Yeah, absolutely. So um, as you say, we're now fitting it from factory, uh, launched on the 220X uh, uh, earlier this year, and it will be launched on the 145XR. The reason it's so fantastic, especially in the house building applications, obviously, as I say, the demand is going right the way up. We have targets that we've never even seen before this year set by the government to build houses, and we can't do it fast enough. So of course, we're gonna to wanna to be as accurate as possible so we're not wasting any time. And the grading system on this allows you to be accurate every time, checking the grade, making sure that you're not over digging um, and then have to go, of course, back and, and fill that material, wasting time and effort. That sounds brilliant. Let's have a move around and have a look at some different sections of this machine. So here we have the fans and all of that over, but what's that there? I see the Leica Geosystems factory fit, I'm guessing. Yeah, absolutely. So as I say, this is where we mount the ECU for the Leica system, um, as, as you say, from factory. So that will be uh, available starting in the new year on this machine. Yeah, that's brilliant. But could you tell me a bit about the whole fan setup we have in here? Yeah, absolutely. So. As we say, when we bring the counterweight in, we're effectively squishing all the components in a small amount of space. And what you see on a lot of competitor machines is that the, the downside of that, the compromise, if you like, of having the reduced tail swing, is that the access to some of these maintenance areas is really, really poor. What we've tried to do here is ensure that that's not the case with these huge steel doors here. Um, as you can see, I hope you agree, this is really fantastic access into here. You've got, you, 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 from ground level, you can get to all of the important maintenance options. And we've even gone as far to fit this machine with a fold-out condenser unit. So when eventually it does fill with debris, you know, you're working on dusty sites when you're doing house building, you're able to swing this out to get in behind it a lot easier, so blow out any debris that does build up. That sounds brilliant, Oliver, and I look forward to see how Leica's machine control is factory fit here in your facilities and i also look forward to seeing this machine out on site thank you Absolutely. for having me and thank you for the chat yeah no problem thank you